ever anyone scared you my little friends or you have scared anyone well today i am going to tell you a story about a little girl who is little miss scary and i am tell you going to tell you the story on our channel amu and you where i am amu ever ready to narrate lovely stories to you today as i said i have the story of little miss scary written by roger hargreaves now who is this little miss scary let us hear now little miss scary lived near the top of a mountain in a house called spooky cottage when it was dark she would creep into the valley below making sure that nobody saw her and there she would wait very quietly until somebody came along and then when that somebody did she would tiptoe up behind them open her mouth wide and shout what 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 do you think she would do can anyone guess she did this for one and everyone who came along who she wanted to scare and she would shout a Whoo! she would do this just for fun you see she loved to scare people more than anything else in the world and she was very very good at it she scared them stiff Whoo! she would say now she scared them out of their wits with her Ooh! has anyone ever done, done this to you she even scared them right out of their socks with a Ooh! about a week ago mr noisy went to see his friend mr jelly mr noisy was worried because he hadn't heard from his friend for ages when he got to mr jelly's house he knocked on the door tak 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 spookily the door swung open by itself hello called mr noisy as softly as he could which for you and me would have been a shout then he heard a chattering noise coming from the bedroom mr noisy found mr jelly hiding under his bed his teeth chattering in fear whatever's the began mr noisy and then remembered himself whatever's the matter mr jelly it's 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 little miss scary chattered mr jelly trembling in fear she, 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 she keeps jumping out and shouting boo, 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 at me mr noisy made mr jelly a cup of tea calmed him down and told him what they were going to do about it just at, as it was getting dark they hid behind a bush beside the lane that led up to mr jelly's house they waited until they saw little miss scary's shadowy figure creeping past them then mr noisy and mr jelly crept out from their hiding place tiptoed up behind little miss scary and at top of their vo- voices shouted Yes you are right Boo! they shouted it out together now the top of mr noisy's voice is a very very loud shout in that place so loud that little miss scary leapt 5 feet in the air and when she came down she ran for her life She didn't stop running until she was hidden under her bed in her bedroom in spooky cottage at the top of the mountain. I don't think you'll be seeing so much of her for a long while, Mr. Jelly. Chuckled Mr. Noisy. Mr. Jelly, Mr. Jelly, but there was no sign of Mr. Jelly either. Mr. Noisy chuckled again and walked back to Mr. Jelly's house to have a look under Mr Jelly's bed and guess what yes you guessed it right there he found Mr Jelly hiding 
under the bed and why was he hiding you think because when mr jelly was scaring miss little scary he shouted so loudly that little miss scary was scared but mr jelly who was also shouting with mr noisy got scared too himself imagine this little shaky mr jelly and hearing mr noisy's shout he ran for his life and hid in his bedroom under his bed where he always hid out of fear wasn't that a funny story children being scared and scaring what do you think what if someone scared you like like little miss scary how would you feel well would you enjoy it or would you not mind maybe many children would mind because they will be taken in a surprise and maybe they will really feel scared and they will not want to be feeling scared at all so i think for fun to scare anyone is not fun what say let me know do you think also like i do that it is not actually fun to scare anyone be it your friend or anyone then they don't like you because you also don't like if anyone else scares you just for nothing right so this was little miss scary's story and after that she understood what she was doing to others and she changed she realized that she should not be doing something that she herself did not like right so thank you for listening to this little cute funny story friends please like share and subscribe so that more and more children enjoy these stories just like you do let me know how you like the story let me know about a friend if you have any like little miss scary or mr noisy or even like mr jelly tell this story to your friends in your school in your class they will laugh wait for me like you always always do i'll come back with another story till then thank you be good and tata